Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Wednesday the 16th of August. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's kick off and have a look at what's happened yesterday. We'll start off with Australia. We had the monetary policy meeting minutes and look the Aussie dollar fell yesterday. It was not though because of the RBA minutes as the currency actually jumped higher at the news release. The central bank expressed concerns about consumption but they also uh, expressed optimism about the growth. So in general the news was, was relatively good. It was more from the US dollar side that caused our Aussie dollar to go down yesterday. In the UK, we had CPI dropping to 2.6% uh, and it's coming in under the forecast. This coupled up with also uh, good US data meant that the cable took a really big hit yesterday, a plus 100 pip uh, in the negative and now currently sitting at around about 128.60 with 128 uh, now on the target and uh, the next major level to see if, they, if we break through that or if we hold off on that. In the US, I guess it's a, a little bit of a sigh of relief uh, for many currency traders as we finally got some positive news and data. Uh, retail sales were up on forecast and the fact that also North Korea has decided to scrap its missile testing near the waters of Guam meant that the US dollar had a strong day against all the majors. So there you have it. That's what's happened yesterday. Time to now have a look at our chart of the day. And the chart that I have found for us today is... It's a GBP USD on a daily time frame. If you have a look at this chart, we are clearly finding a line of support. We've had two solid touches. We are at the third touch right now, but as always, we need to wait for price action confirmation. So add this one to your hot list. The trade's not quite ready right now, unless you just want to trade off the level. That's up to you. But normally I would wait for the current candle that I'm pointing at right now to uh, give me a price action reversal pattern. So ideally here I'm looking for an inside candle and if I should get that then tomorrow I can place my pending orders and attempt to trade it back up uh, based on that support level. All right, what's happening in the session that is about to unfold for us? Well, we have at 6.30 this evening from the UK, we have average earnings index to be released. 10.30, we have building permits from the US. Just after midnight at uh, 12.30, we have crude oil inventories also from the US and that affects Canadian traders, uh, CAD dollar traders as well. At 4 a.m., we have the FOMC meeting minutes. Now, this will be big, so just keep an eye out on that one and let's see what they say, how they express their views, specifically after a little bit of better uh, data and the North Korea situation, see if that is mentioned at all. Finally, at tomorrow morning, 8.45, I've added it in there because this video recording may or may not be ready by that time, but from New Zealand, we have the PPI input uh, data to be released. All right, guys, as always, please feel free to contact us. If you do have any questions, follow me on Twitter at ChatFX. And most importantly, have a fantastic trading day. I will talk to you tomorrow on the Daily Call. Bye for now.